Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my amazing Halloween roll cake. It is one of my classics on my French YouTube channel when it comes to Halloween. And as you can see, I'm using a lot of Halloween colors, orange and black, and making a very cute little roll cake. This video actually was filmed in 2016, so it's part of my archives on YouTube, but I decided to share it with you in English since it's perfect for Halloween and extremely simple to do and outstanding results, as you can see. So let's start with the recipe. So first of all, we are going to start off by making the black dots on our cake. It is basically chocolate cake batter and it's amazing. We're gonna add some black food coloring to it. And I'm going to start off with my room temperature butter that I'm going to mix well with some icing sugar and I'm just using a plain spatula as you can see. Amazing, now we can add our egg whites and mix once again. Amazing, now it's time to add the dry ingredients and I'm using very simple ones in this part of the recipe, which are basically flour and also some cocoa powder and a pinch of salt. And I'm going to mix that with my spatula. Our batter is almost done. I'm just going to add now some black food coloring to it to make it very black and very spooky. And then the batter is ready. Once that I've filled a piping bag with my chocolate cake batter, we can create the dots. And as you can see, I'm using a very large rectangle uh, cake pan that I covered with parchment paper and greased very well. And I'm just going to create some little dots all throughout my cake pan. And once we have our dots, we're gonna put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes or exactly the time that we need to prepare the orange cake batter. Perfect, my black dots are in the freezer. It's time to take care of the orange colored cake. And we are going to, first of all, divide our sugar into my egg whites and my egg yolks. I'm using the two different kinds here. And I'm going to whip up my egg whites until stiff picks and mix my egg yolks very well until I have the ribbon stage. Now we can introduce our egg whites into our egg yolks. And I'm just going to do it step by step just to make sure that I don't deflate my eggs. Great, now we can add the melted butter and I'm going to do it in two stages. So I'm gonna add half of it and I'm going to sift in my all-purpose flour along with my salt and my orange food coloring, which is powder form in this recipe. You can definitely use some gel as well. It works even better. And then we can mix that well. Then I'm going to add the remaining dry ingredients and the remaining butter and mix one last time until we can cover up our black dots. Once that I've covered my black dots, it is time to bake our cake in our preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about seven to 10 minutes. It is a very thin cake, so you won't need to bake it very long. And you can just check it with a toothpick inserted in the center. If it comes out clean, the cake is done. And then we can assemble the cake. Once the cake is baked completely, it is time to unmold it and it's going to be very straightforward. And you need to do this step while it's hot. So make sure to put a good coating of icing sugar on it. And then I'm just going to use some cloth and basically unmold it and then remove the parchment paper, add more sugar and then roll it onto itself with the cloth just to make sure that nothing sticks. And we are going to let it cool completely with the cloth while it's rolled to make sure that it's going to actually keep this roll shape. Once your cake is completely cooled, you can assemble it. And I'm going to use my simple cream cheese frosting recipe. You can find the entire list of ingredients in the description box down below. But also if you want, I showed you how to make it in my amazing cinnamon roll cake recipe. It tastes divine. You can use buttercream as well, or any type of frosting you want really. Just make sure that it contrasts the color of the cake. And this is why I use white frosting. And then you're going to let your cake set in the fridge, preferably for about an hour or so, just to make sure that everything sets up properly. Then, then you can cut it and it's going to be very beautiful, as you can see. I 
I am including some footage of me from 2016 and as you can see my face has changed a bit. I mean it's been only three years so that's not that much. But this cake is amazingly good. It's outstanding and your friends are really going to be amazed. Please make sure to try this recipe for Halloween this year by finding the entire list of ingredients in the description box down below as well as my social media so Facebook, Twitter and Instagram where you can follow me. I share a lot of great content, especially on Instagram. Please subscribe to this channel and like this video and leave me a comment also if you liked it. It's always nice to say hi and then I will see you very soon for another amazing Halloween recipe. Bye!